Hey up everybody, welcome back to the I'll Do Cycling YouTube channel, talking today about Vela games again, uh, but this time get Velgum, round 7, I didn't have a particularly good E3 Saxo Bank round 6, so really looking for a bit of redemption here. So, again Velgum, seen as a bit of the uh, Sprinters classic, but looks like it's going to be pretty windy tomorrow, so I guess the options are do you think that it's going to be a sprint, or do you think that it's going to be an attacking group getting away, a bit like last year, where Mass Pedersen won? Um, but of course that's going to play into uh, who you want to pick. I think a, a fairly constant rider across most teams will be man here, Wout Van Aert, because of course he can attack and he can sprint, and he's... Therefore, just a good option for everything, despite being the most expensive, I think, but you can still make a very good team um, with him in there. And I feel like a lot of people will be putting him in, so therefore, just to cancel everybody out, you're probably better putting Wout Van Aert on than not putting Wout Van Aert on. That is something that I learnt yesterday, on the day before, with E3. I should have just gone with the favourites, but instead, I tried to be a bit too clever. So we're going to go back to basics today. So Wout Van Aert is going to be our first rider. Uh, let's go with what we think would be a good sprinting group first. So, you'd, I mean, you could pick Trenton by all means. He is a very good sprinter in his own right, but um, perhaps not a person who'd win, but would win from a reduced group. So, perhaps if you wanted to go for a, for a pure sprinter, you know, it depends. Do you think that Sam Bennett's going to make it? You know, will De Koenig be playing for that? I think they probably will. In my eyes, I think De Koenig will be putting a guy into a move which goes on the Kemmelberg, instigated by whoever it may be, and uh, they'll just be told to anchor the move, and uh, hopefully it'll get brought back um, for a sprint from behind for Sam Bennett, but if it stays away then those two guys will be, uh, or two guys, I mean I'm thinking two, I think it'll be Stiebar and Lampart, um, or at least one of them. Uh, so, yeah, I think that... If it comes back to a sprint, it won't be because De Koenig are chasing behind, it'll just be because of the natural order of things, and also who's up front. So, let's say you want to go full sprinter, I'd probably put on Demar, because I think that he is, out of all the sprinters here, the most classic-esque sprinter, let's say. I wouldn't be picking an Ackerman. He's only had two DNF DNFs here, and in my eyes that doesn't forebode particularly well. I know that he did alright in Bruges de Pan the other day, but let's face it, as... A Belgium one day race goes, it's a fairly easy one to get around, so it's not like cobble climbs or anything. In my eyes, I'm not, I won't be going with Ackerman, I think he's just a bit too risky. Um, John Degenkop has a pretty good reputation here, actually, uh, of just getting some solid like top tens. Um, so that's definitely an option, he looked pretty good the other day. Nizzolo, um, pretty good one day racer, actually. Uh, would he finish in the top ten if that? Problem is, he's not. He's probably not going to get into the move if it does go. But if it comes back for a sprint, then yes. Or you could pick the one of the two Alpecin Phoenix riders, Merlier or Philipson. The risk with that is that, of course, there's two of them, so you're not quite sure who's who, who's sprinting for what. Pollitt and Van Mark might be trying to get into the move. So, but if you're going for a sprint team, I'd probably be picking. I'd probably go in Nazolo, to be honest with you. And then you go an 18 pointer. At the moment, we've got Stebar on here, so. Just pick an 18 point sprinter that you think will do pretty good. Um, who we've got? We've got Colbrelli, Pasquale. Maybe you won't go with an 18 pointer. You could go with like Case Ball, Brian Cocker. You go Ofstetter is uh, 12 from what I remember. So you could go with Hugo Ofstetter. Let's go with somebody. Let's go with Case Ball. Right, that leaves you another four points, so you put that into one of these four pointers. Maybe you pick two six pointers. Uh, DuPont would be a one, and another one would be another six pointer would be. Oh. You could go Akoff, possibly. You could go Bissiger, Pierre Alligat. Who else could you go with? Edmondson, Akon, Genietz. Oh, many. Johan Jacobs, Amon Gloda Janssen is pretty fast. If Matthews, Matthews did crash the other day, just by the way, at E3, so maybe he might not be feeling too good. Adrian Petit, K. 
can sometimes go pretty well. You're picking somebody, and yeah, let's just go Quinn Simmons. I know he hasn't got many points, to be honest with you. I'm not. I'm a bit fed up with these six pointers, but you know, this could be a very good sprinter team. You know, you got four sprinters there. Um, well, well, not sprinter. You know, well, actually, you got a lot. Of sp- Timothy Dupont, yes, I think is a great option. That's kind of a sprinter team. If you're going, perhaps you could say, okay, I'm going with a full attacking team. Let's say Wow Attacks. Okay, who are you picking for a like? Who's going to be going with the attacks? I think the De Kernick Riders definitely will be. Um, and we saw that Stebar looked really good the other day, so I'm going to pick Stebar. You could go a Lampard, but let's face it, Stebar is four points cheaper, so that seems to make more sense to me. Because I'm going with a full attacking lineup, I'm not going with any any six pointers, so I'm just going to pick two Sport uh, Vlandrum riders, just because. Well, I'll try to pick two Sport Vlandrum riders. Hang on. I can't pick one. Hang on. Scroll down a little bit. Um, we'll go with where is he? This guy. No, he's not Sport Vlandrum. You 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 know what I mean. You you, you go with a Sport Vlandrum rider, okay? Because they'll probably get him a breakaway. Um, and then probably go with. So we got Stebar in there. Who else is going to go with the attack? Um, I think in terms of we're going with who looked good at E three. Nason looked good. Van Avermaet looked good. And you could go with Mass Pedersen if you're feeling like a bit braver. Um, Lampart, of course, he was bridging the crossbow and got flat tyres. Stuyven looked pretty good. Trentin, I think that Trentin, just because he can sprint and because he can also attack, I think that he's a good option as well. Which leaves you with enough points to upgrade Case Bottle to a 20 pointer. Um, so, who's going to be attacking? Cobrelli. Mm. Setman Mark has been ill, so that's a bit unknown. Nils Pollitt, again, uh, his team wasn't in, in the race because Matt Walls tested positive for COVID, so is Pollock going to be quite you know keen to get going? Dagen Kolb, just because he has a good reputation at this race, I think that he's not one that you just want to write off. I think out of all the lot of Sudar riders, he looks pretty good. You could put Dagen Kolb in there. Um, I think that's quite... It's quite a nice team. Alternatively, if you didn't want to go with Dengolb, you could go with like Anthony Turgis because he's quite attacking. Use those points to upgrade Stebar. You could then pick uh, Eve Lampart if you wanted to, um, or Stoyven. I'd probably pick one of those two. Um, but I think you want a Dekernic rider, so you could go with Lampart in that kind of sense as well. Um, Another option would be you could pick a sprinter in this part. So you could take off Trenton and you could pick uh, Damar if you kind of wanted to cover your bases a little bit and pick a guy for uh, groups in the attack. So maybe Wout and Lampard in the attack with Turgis and then Damar sitting behind for a sprint. Risk is Damar doesn't come back. He ends up finishing 20th place. That isn't as good as if you would have picked Stuyven who perhaps got into the move and was therefore got you more points because he finished 8th or something like that so that's just kind of how you think that's going to be up to your jurisdiction perhaps look at some previews going on there's a lot of good ones if you go onto like Twitter and stuff Cycling Mold is a really good one um, Quick Link Podcast um, TT Podcast you know all, there's so many great ones that you could listen to and uh, go go read about go see what people are saying about wind what they think what the general consensus is I personally think because it's so windy, there's more than likely going to be echelons, which means that quite a few sprinters are going to be out the back. So just play it safe, I'd say. I'd say get White Van Aert on, covering you know, the sprint and the, um, and the potential attack. I'd say pick a De Kernick rider to go into that break as well. So pick either Lampard or Stebar. And then kind of choose whether you want to put another attacker on in like a Stuyven or a Trenton, a Trenton. Or perhaps whether you want to go with a sprinter instead. Um, a man, you know, maybe just four pointers just bank on people going to the break. That's about it. If you want to hear my opinions about people, get hooked, like mention in the comments or on Twitter or anything. And uh, yeah, of course, just tell us who you think you're good upon your teams and keep your masks on. Stay safe and I'll uh, talk to you next time.